Hi, it's Natalia and James from Social Coach, and today we're going to talk to you about how to create sexual tension minutes after meeting a girl. Have you ever wondered how some of these, I don't know what you'd call bad boy types, um, can just get so many great women and basically wrap them around their little finger, sometimes three or four at a time. And a lot of the bad boys that certainly I've met have been, you know, had very low paid, low status jobs, often been not very good looking. Yeah, a lot of, you know, successful, educated, white collar guys, professionals, business owners, just really struggle with women. How do these sort of mythical bad boys have so much success with women? There's not just one thing, but Maybe one of the biggest things of all is eye contact. A guy holding really strong, confident, non-sleazy eye contact. Often the girls will sort of decide for themselves, oh, he's holding good eye contact. He must be really confident himself. He must have quite a bit of experience with attractive women, be confident with them and possibly a lot better in bed than all the other sort of lame guys in this bar or party or whatever. So it says so much. So Natalia, I think you had some thoughts about how good, solid, strong, confident eye contact can really help make you more attracted to a guy. Um, what did you want to share? Um, yeah, well, I've got a story to tell. So I was traveling uh, in America and uh, out of all places, I stayed in New York for some time. Um, and um, when I was at a bar, um, I, I was walking on the balcony and I caught eyes with this um, guy who basically stared at, at me for a good 10 seconds while I was passing by through the crowded um, balcony. And I thought, hmm, what a challenge. Okay, accepted. And um, basically I just looked back at him the entire time and smiled. You know, long story short, he approached me in about five or 10 minutes, found me somewhere else in the crowd um, to say hello. And um, I just um, felt you know, um, like it was so special uh, that he was really attracted to me and I felt a little bit nervous, um, like a 15 year old girl again. <laughs> so that was pretty cute. Um, but yeah, uh, I think the eye contact really made it because, um, yeah, I wouldn't say I found him particularly attractive, but because he still held such good eye contact with me, um, it made me very attracted to him. Okay, so funnily enough, my favorite anecdote about eye contact is from New York too. I went out to a pretty cool bar with um, two guys who, how do I put this politely, were a hell of a lot better looking than me uh, and younger too. And um, yeah, there was a lot of attractive girls around and um, I did what I teach on, certainly on my boot camps and, and maybe on some other videos. Um, there's a whole process of when you go into a bar, how to have the best chance of um, you know, taking or party of had taking girls home. So we plumped ourselves sort of in the middle of the bar in the middle of the pub and we just started talking to each other and we sort of made eye contact with different girls. And then this thing came by who just she like glid and she had thick hair and big lips and wa ma ma. As soon as she walked in I was pretty confident and quite promiscuous with women at this point. So I just locked eyes on her, quite similar to what Natalia said. And I just basically followed around the room while I was talking to my friends and just followed around the room. And she got, you know, kind of giggly. And eventually she sort of slowly worked over to where I was. And um, it got to the point where she's like 10 meters away, then she's seven meters away, then she's five meters away, and she's four meters away. And then every time she comes closer, I just, again, I'm not this confident man anymore, but, but I was, you know, a decade ago. I just sort of looked at her with intent and I went, and she's like, <laughs> and I'd just go back to talking to my friends and it'd be like, and then she'd, she'd still be there and she'd get closer and closer and closer. And I'd go, and at the same time, uh, it turned out she's Colombian, we're holding like 100% laser focused eye contact. I'd go like that, she'd go, no, no, you come to me. And I'd just go back and talk to my friends for three or four minutes. Then she'd be sitting there sort of getting nervous. Okay, so if you'd please excuse my incredibly amateurish reconstruction of this story for you. But it eventually got to the point where the girl had dragged her three or four friends, you know, 15 meters over 
to be beside me and, and my two friends. And um, at this point, we were just locked, staring at each other, staring at each other, staring at each other. I kept doing this and she wouldn't budge. She just wouldn't go. She, yeah, exactly. She's like this week. No, no, no. Uh, so eventually, I just put my hand out like that. I didn't say a word for like 20 seconds. I just stared and stared and stared. And then eventually, I just pulled her into me like that. And um, out of respect for Natalia, um, she literally, as soon as I did that, she just pushed this huge, perfect Colombian chest at me. And only a South American girl could ever do this. She looked me in the eyes. She looked down at my lips. She looked back up at my eyes and she grabbed my head and she basically just devoured me. <laughs> I've never been kissed like that in my life. Within and Anyway, uh, I'll spare you the gory details, but... Um, it took a little bit of effort to get her out, a little bit of women's tests to actually get her out of the bar after the start was so explosive. But yeah, I had um, a rather pleasant night, to put it mildly. She was Colombian and highly educated and very beautiful. Uh, the point of that video is that all started with me, similar story to Natalia, where I'm just sitting holding calm, confident, unbroken eye contact with a girl. And Natalia explained very capably how how sexy, how, how attractive that is for a girl, even potentially a girl where she would think that guy's, she could probably do better than that guy. I can tell you this Colombian girl could do a hell of a lot better than me based on her looks and intelligence. So you guys might be asking, where did I learn eye contact from? Well, in large part, it was a Brazilian guy who was sort of a low level mentor of mine with women, particularly the searing eye contact. A Croatian guy helped me out a bit and an African-American helped me out a lot in terms of just watching them talk to girls and the intensity of eye contact they held. The other thing that really helped me um, that was quite important with the story that I'm going to tell you is um, I lived in Chelsea in New York, which is the gay area. And, you know, I'm, I'm slim, I'm reasonably neatly dressed, you know, not being big headed, but some of those gay boys have attention and the ferocity with which gay men can look at you, it just, it just knocks you off your feet. And um, thank you to, to the gay men of Chelsea. And I was hanging out with a very, very attractive male friend when I was in, um, when, I was, when I was there. And yeah, just modeling what the gay guys did, on, largely on my gorgeous male friend, and, and to a lesser extent on me, I've taken those lessons and applied that with girls with um, incredibly fine results. Okay, now Natalia and I are going to demonstrate uh, to show you exactly the sort of thing we're talking about. This is one of my very, very favorite tricks. And I use this very, very strong, almost 100% eye contact method to spark attraction, to let the girl know I've noticed her, I'm interested and you know, suggest I'm capable of following through quite capably. So if you see a girl you really like, maybe she's working in a cafe or a gym or retail or a bar, or maybe she's part of a group of people and you can't sort of start hitting on her or maybe she's a bit of a distance away and you can't approach her in a socially acceptable manner. This is the, the smooth way to communicate your potential sexual and romantic interest. Okay, what's happening here is I'm holding calm, confident, direct, not sexual or sleazy, unbroken eye contact. Um, you might see at some point, but the only movement I'll make is I might swap from looking at one of her eyes to the other. You can see my eyes going there. And if you do this well, a lot of girls will look away. Some girls who are you know, quite into it or quite confident themselves might continue to hold unbroken eye contact, particularly Russian ones and, and models sometimes. Um, and you can see I just continue to hold that unbroken eye contact. And then if you want to get a real zing, uh, drop down to the lips. Uh, this is very, very effective on dates when you're trying to seduce girls, when you're trying to make out if you can kiss them, have sex with them. It's also very effective where you meet a girl, but you don't really get a chance to talk to her for very long. And you wanted to let her know that you noticed her and you're very interested. If you do this well, looking down at the lips, that should almost produce like this zing of energy and potentially attraction. And she'll be very aware what your intentions are, even though you've done it in a very, very smooth way and her face might start to soften a bit, she might smile. So eyes, the, the window to the soul. Um, eye contact, you know, conversation for the most, but eye contact, one of the most important skills you need to learn to be able to go out and meet and attract 
and date and have sexual relationships with and have great relationships with the women you really want. Eye contact. So if you like that video, click the link here and we're going to direct you to more videos that you'll also like and get a lot of value out of. And if you'd like uh, a special free gift from Social Coach to help you quickly attract the women you really want, click that here for a free gift and I look forward to seeing the results you get out of it.